Hey guys, it's Sandro here with a video today sharing with you guys what I consider to be the greatest quick detailer I've ever used, Nova Boost. Now a few months back I did a video titled Quasa Jewel Sprayers, Foamer and an Amazing Quick Detailer which I'll add a link to on the end screen of this video in which I reviewed this very same quick detailer but couldn't say what it was as it was yet to be officially released. But I do recommend you guys watch that video if you want some more info and footage displaying this very unique product. As of a few weeks ago, Nova Boost was in fact officially released and I honestly believe it needs to be shared and enjoyed by detailing professionals and enthusiasts alike. So the basic purpose of Nova Boost, or really any pure quick detail spray, is to enhance your car's paintwork, top up the protection, perform light cleaning duties and do this with increased safety and ease. Now it can achieve these goals in various situations, some of which I'll be demonstrating in this video, and the most common being the final step after your car's routine maintenance wash to eliminate any drying streaks and amplify gloss, clarity and slickness. It can also be used as a drying aid to increase lubrication and minimise scratching during the towel drying stage. And thirdly, it can be used to remove dust and fingerprints for light cleaning duties and perform spot cleans, especially on the go, in cases such as car shows or when a bird decides to bomb your car minutes after washing it. I'm going to try and explain in this video why Nova Boost is by far the greatest quick detailer I've ever used and why it's so unique compared to all others currently on the market as my issue with almost all of them is that they try to be more than they should be and end up losing that very basic purpose of what a true quick detailer is and should be. Now this Alfa Romeo Giulietta QV, as many of you may know, was paint corrected and coated with Seacourts UK about two years ago and it will be soon again lightly polished and recoated as soon as I get the chance. I've been using Nova Boost on it after each wash for the past three months to ensure it stays protected and looks great until it's recoated, and hopefully you can see it's been doing a fantastic job. When I say this quick detailer is quick and easy to use, I mean seriously quick and easy. You can certainly take your time if that's how you like to work, but if speed is your goal, especially for you guys in the trade, you can honestly apply a coat of Nova Boost within five minutes if you have a little spring in your step. So you can work section by section if you wish, but you can also literally spray the whole car down and then just whip around it with a couple of microfiber cloths, using the first one to spread the product around each section and the second cloth to immediately finish streak free. I tried to show this in the footage here by just minimally editing and leaving most of it in real time as an example of just how quick and easy it really is. Now it's rare for me to recommend using a product in direct sunlight but I've got no reservations in saying you can go to town on any outdoor environment with Nova Boost and it's still super easy and quick to use. If it does dry on the paint, just spray a little more or even just use your first slightly saturated cloth and it'll buff out perfectly every time without any effort required. There are some products that are easy to use and then there are some products that are just ridiculously easy to use and this is at the forefront of them all. In fact I'll go on record by saying that this is the easiest and most pleasurable detailing product I've ever used and it's probably ruined me for using anything else in the future. And just to be clear you can use it on any car surface whether it be paint, glass, metal rubber, plastics and it's actually a fantastic interior quick detailer that'll do some light cleaning and leave a beautiful factory finish.
Now, I've been keeping note on how much I've been using per car and application, and I'd say about 40 mil per car, depending on the size, is about right. So in the case of using it on your daily driver, a 1 litre bottle should see you through 6 months of weekly washes, or about 25 applications on average. I'll also add that unlike many other quick detailers out there, that may make your life miserable when you use too much. If you go a little overboard with Boost, it really doesn't make it any harder to use, but you just end up wasting more. I'll also be showing you guys the application on wet paint in a bit, but it's really no different, and that's all you really need to know, as it's just hard to run into any issues while using it. Now the most unique and innovative thing about Nova Boost is in fact its look and behaviour. Every single quick detailer on the market actually masks your paint protection by adding its own form of protection over it. Now if you don't have any form of paint protection on your car, then this is a good thing as it'll add at least some minimal form of protection. But if you do care for your vehicle, as I'm sure almost everyone watching this video does, and you do invest in a quality wax, sealant or coating to protect it, then the last thing you want to do is have that beautiful look and behaviour of that quality paint protection product masked by an inferior quick detailer. This is where Boost is a little different and unique. It's the first quick detailer I've ever used that doesn't simply mask whatever it's applied over, but rather enhances and boosts that existing paint protection to look and behave like it did originally. So the name Boost is 100% perfect in describing what this product really does. In the original video that I mentioned earlier, I actually filmed some footage that clearly shows this unique feature and how Nova Boost reacts differently depending on what it's applied over. So you can watch that video if you want to see that in action. I'll also add that I've been applying Boost to a few different cars, including cars protected with wax, sealants and coatings. And it plays really well with all of those various forms of paint protection, enhancing all of them but still looking and behaving uniquely depending on what it's applied over. And you can certainly try this for yourselves, but I almost guarantee that you won't see any other quick detailer retain the look and behaviour of a high quality wax, sealant or coating. So here outside is my old Civic that I washed yesterday, and although it was meant to be a clear sunny day, the sky opened up and it rained for literally 5 minutes and then it stopped. So this is another instance where you can use an overboost to stop your car collecting dirt, but it also demonstrates how it works as a drying aid and for light cleaning duties. Now I could certainly apply boost here in one application, spraying the entire car down. 
and the fact that the car is wet will actually ensure the boost doesn't dry and gives you more work time. But just to show you guys another way to use it, I'm going to work panel to panel. So I'll start by giving the entire roof a few sprays, use my first cloth to both spread it in and collect the standing water, and then use my second cloth to quickly finish perfectly streak free. I'll then move on to the other panels such as the windscreen, bonnet, rear hatch and finish up with the side panels. And really, even without moving too quickly, I'm done in 5 to 10 minutes max. Now if there is more standing water on the vehicle, as opposed to the minimal water here, you can actually wring out your first cloth as needed, or use a few cloths if there's also some light dust or dirt present. For professional detailers out there regularly performing maintenance washes on their clients' cars, there's literally nothing I've used that's going to work this quick and give you this level of results. Just give the car a wash, spray on boost, wipe it and dry it down and you're done. It'll look amazing, feel super slick and you don't need to worry about sunlight, temperatures or streaks. So that then brings me to boost, lubrication and slickness which is honestly off the charts. The lubrication you get is something that I can talk about until I'm blue in the face, but you just have to use it to understand how easy it allows your cloth to glide over the paint. And once you're done, you can run your hands over it and you'll feel almost no friction whatsoever. Yes, it feels great, but more importantly, it just doesn't allow dirt to bond to it anywhere near as easy, so the car will look cleaner for longer. In relation to durability, Boost has been specifically designed to actually break down the next time you wash your car and be reapplied as a sacrificial layer or last two to four weeks depending on conditions. My testing has shown that it actually helps remove the existing dirt by removing itself in the process, which again is a very unique characteristic with a great benefit. You could, and I have tried it as a waterless wash, even as a clay lubricant as it's just so safe and effective to use but I'm not going to recommend it purely based on cost. If you go back to some of my earlier videos, you might see me using original variations of Nova Boost almost two years ago, but obviously just calling it a prototype quick detailer. Boost has gone through many variations, formula tweaks and testing for a very long time to finally come up with this final formulation. And this isn't a cheap thing to do, nor is the chemical engineering involved with this newer technology. I honestly don't know what's in it, I just test and give my feedback as with many other detailing products I test for many brands. Now as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of great products out there labelled as quick detailers, but when you actually use them and honestly evaluate them, you start to realise that they really aren't a quick detailer at all. There's nothing stopping a brand or manufacturer taking a high strength durable spray sealant and slapping a quick detailer label on it. So then they can say, this is the most durable quick detailer you'll ever use. But if it's not quick and easy to use, and you can't work in direct sunlight with it, and you have to work small sections and it scratches the paint if you use it to clean off light dirt, I'm sorry guys, it may be a great product, but it just isn't a quick detailer, end of story. I'm really not interested in doing reviews on products that are bad or even just average because we don't need more of that in such an oversaturated market such as detailing supplies. And I'm also not interested in doing negative reviews as I'm not here to hurt anybody's brand. What I do like doing is sharing products that make my life easier and better as a detailer, allow me to provide high levels of service to my customers and push the boundaries to continuously force manufacturers to up their game. This is what creates better, more affordable and superior products and I wouldn't have it any other way. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show your support for these videos and I'll see you guys soon.